Hello, and welcome back to my let's play on Friends of Britannia with Strafklut. Where last time we left off, we were taking many of the Kirkens, Sirsens, whatever you want to call them, land. There you go. Um, and we had also dealt with the army in Dunblan, which had taken Dunblan from us. And then we murdered them. It was a fairly tough battle, but my army has uh, replenished incredibly well. I guess our uh, yeah our food is abundant right now, so our replenishment multiplier is pretty crazy. Um, okay, so I could actually take Dun 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 Dun, uh, but if I do that, then this guy could get taken or attacked by this dude. Now this dude by himself probably won't win. Uh, I guess I should be okay because I'm gonna pick these two units up, aren't I? That was the plan anyway. I got, I got, I just got to do it without actually wasting movement. Uh, that's just, that's gonna be tough. I'm also gonna go for attrition, so I'm gonna lose a lot of men. Because I could do this, but then I'm pretty sure I won't be able to reach this anymore. And if I can't reach that, then it's just the whole plan is fucking useless, isn't it? Um. So I guess what I'll do is I'll try and stop like literally on the path of where I'm supposed to be going. Like, right there, I guess. I could maybe even go a little further. Right there. Then shove those two units in there and hope I can still reach it somehow. Uh, I guess if not, then too bad. Yeah, let's try that. Can I still reach now? Yeah, I should be able to. I mean, that hasn't moved, changed anything. So we want to do this. You can have these two Welsh Levy Axemen. Have fun. And, yeah, that should... Because then, I mean, they could recruit a couple units in that army, but I have two full units. They'd have to recruit quite a lot to be able to do anything about this. What the fuck? For in the Heartlands. Cap oh, I had a mission to take this ages ago, apparently. I didn't realize. Not that 2k is that much anymore, since our income is pretty fucking sweet at the moment. Anyway, nice. We took that shields. Nice. Uh, and you can go back in here. And I was going to recruit these two units on this ar in this army. I think I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna let them take Skonen because I don't want to want to. I need to replenish these guys anyway. I may as well just sit here and yeah. This army's pretty sweet now, though. I think eventually I probably want to have two of them as well and just have this arm. This is probably gonna be a very well. Actually, no. This is not gonna be a common army setup, but it is for this army because he has the massive reduction in upkeep cost for these units. I do want to definitely get some better cavalry though. I don't like this four scout cav anymore. I want to get these North, uh, old North, ho North horsemen in here, but I think we'll uh, we'll keep these guys until we send this army all the way up here to get uh, golden upgrades. This is why I don't want this building here, and I want it down south somewhere, which is what the plan was. But um, I was gonna get it here, I think. But uh, yeah, that's that's for a while from now, and not really something I should concern myself with right now. Now, no, no, no. If I were to besiege this, would I take attrition? I'm, think, I'm thinking the answer is yes. There is a patch of green right here. Like right here. So I wonder if I if I move here and then I attack from there, will I not take attrition? Let's find out. I th I'm still going to do it anyway. It's actually not that good. Ah, I was right. There's no attrition right on that patch. That's perfect. Okay. Uh... You are the one who I want to... Yeah, I'm going to move you, as I want this army to go south quickly. So I'm going to switch these two out. So this army is back to having four Old North horsemen. And then this army has got fully upgraded units. That said, these scout horsemen are probably going to go as well. I don't think I want to keep those. I want to get better cavalry, but I think for now, I guess that's okay. I can just, uh, yeah, I can switch switch around things later. Now, do I, am I in such a rush that I'll take attrition? I think I will go here, take the attrition, but then uh, we'll replenish right there. And at least I can still move up a little bit. Okay. I think it might be worth starting to work on that. On getting the armor thing, so maybe we'll get that right now, and then I will also obtain another building, such as, and not exclusively. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's um, actually, what do we? What can we get here? Can upgrade the town. 
here. Might be decently good decision to do that. Yeah, let's go for that. Income's down quite a bit again. Alright, have I moved all my army? So yeah, this army is going back to here, or here, whichever one, to basically get this entire army upgraded. And this is probably uh, an army that could see late game, maybe. These guys might get replaced, but they'll get upgraded as well, so it's not really that big a deal. These guys will get upgraded to other Axemen, so I think generally this would be okay. And by the time we need to really worry about that, I think we'll have the gold uh, upgrades down here as well. Wait, where? Down here. So I think that's okay. We have a couple unhappy provinces, minus one and minus two. Surprising actually, the place with a church is minus, but I guess, yeah, because of that, and obviously the occupation is still a problem. So yeah, this army is going to replenish for a little bit, and then it's going to have to deal with this army, which I don't know how good it is. Um, it's got a five-star general, so I can only imagine it's not terrible. They're probably gonna take Skonen from me, but oh well. Uh, we're gonna take this next turn. If I can get this army in me force and rage, I can. That'll be an easy auto resolve, so that's good. And then we're gonna run rampant from there down south. We just gotta make sure we can stop this army. And then these guys are kind of done now, I think. I could even disband them, and then this unit can just take that ship for free, so we don't want that either. I'm gonna keep them until we've dealt with that unit, basically. We'll see how much they re recruit, because there's a good chance they'll just recruit a ton of shit there. And then maybe even kill this army off. But oh well! Uh, do I care about you? Who are you? You're Rivet. I care about you a little bit. You're not terrible. Uh, how is my faction situation? Still no... I'm surprised we haven't actually got any more kits than this one, by the way. That the zero year old, but he fucking died. Like a little loser. Um, we still only have two estates to give out, which I will give out when we need to. I'm about to have need for another governor. We got a miner, so that's good. <laughs> a miner. He's young. Haha. <laughs> we have one um, industry thing, so that actually isn't terrible here either, but it's not great. Anyway, let's end this turn, shall we? I think we shall. Let's see what happens. I shouldn't get attacked by anyone right now. Oh, hello. What are they attacking? Oh, fuck. Okay, they are taking back that town in the east. Okay, this, that army is going to be a real... Oh my god, did I just recruit 13 units in there? Well, 12, yeah, plus the general. Um, This is a little problematic. A worthy bride. Plus one influence for Kostenin, who's got two influence. I'm not going to lower my own influence for this, sure. Fucker. Like you want. This is problematic. If he starts heading this way, this is really bad. I can't even get to Edinburgh, and then, you know, if he goes east, we're kind of fucked to ruin it. Do I want to go in here for better replenishment, or do I want to move as far as possible? I think I may just go for the better replenishment. See, there's also this army now, though, and there's not much we can do about that, unless I want to just shove an entire force in here, which we can't afford to do, I suppose, so I may as well. We, we've got at least one turn of replenishment, which means we're one turn behind of his replenishment, but we start off with two full units, so I guess that's okay. Um, it's already auto resolvable. Is it worth not having you? Is it better to move like this or across land? Probably like this, so... Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's send you into the water. Oh, now I see why they go like das into uh, into attrition because it's just way faster. Apparently. Um, yeah, I just want to go down in this general direction, so let's do that. You take this. Uh, balance this fine. Fucking put that man down. I guess I could get a piece of them and then just betray them again in 10 turns or something. A uh, moot tail? Uh, I don't think I want that at all, actually, because that's that thing that is corruption reduction, but it's only, like, it's good for uh, adjacent provinces, but it's only two of those. Or three, but still, that's not very good. Get that shit out of here. 
I don't really want this here either, I don't think. I'll repair that and I'll, re eh, I'll let that repair itself. No, I'll repair it. Make sure it gets done. We will serve you well. I don't want to spend too much money because I actually legitimately think I need to build an army on this force. So let's run you over here. This, uh, I, I, maybe I did declare war on them just a turn or two too soon. Uh, Alright, so I want you to go in here. And then recruit basically a full stack or so. It doesn't have to be an insane stack. I'm imagining they're not going to recruit too many more units, but it has to be somewhat decent. And I also need to think about keeping it afterwards, so not too expensive. I'm about to get a whole bunch of Axemen upgrades, so perhaps I should get you. You are a cavalry commander, I seem to recall. Recruitment cost for cavalry, recruitment cost for all units. Eh, it's not really cavalry commander, it just has one thing for cavalry. Do we have any better generals available? Just fucking 67 year, 76 year old even. He's got upkeep reduction, which is good, but nah. Um, okay. Let's go to Spearmen. I definitely want to get all four of these because we are really close to getting them up upgraded anyway, and they're really cheap. So uh, I think I might want to get two more Spearmen actually. Then obviously just get a couple archers, maybe two of these guys. 740 upkeep, not too much. Uh, and this is quite a large army. Let me just see what we got right now. 16 units. So that gives me the room for four cavalry units. Um, man, that would bring my income down a lot, though. 400 bucks. Get some shitty cavalry in here. Yeah, why not? We'll just make this an actual army. A weak one, but an army nonetheless. Yeah, this is a very weak army. No, none of these guys, none of these guys. But these guys are about to get an upgrade. Well, not ne next turn, I don't think, but the, yeah, in five turns, still. It's 20 units, you know, against 13, whatever it is, we'll still win that. Now, I need a governor here. Hello, governor. Um, so, in this place, I want to have this guy. Yep. Kin... shit. Alright, I may have to cancel a building, because that's... Well, it's not that necessary, I suppose, but I think it's probably worth cancelling a building for. I don't really want to cancel that. Am I doing anything else? Uh, yes, but I don't want to cancel that either, because that is this one. So let's cancel this one. Yeah, sure. It's quite a lot of money. I should be able to spend some money on something else instead. Right. Govern this place. Mr. Miner. He's got terrible loyalty. Let's just throw him... Why, by the way? Oh, just personal loyalty is terrible. He's not a very good governor, by the way. But here you go. You can have Rinnen. Why are you so shit? Tell me. You strict? That's not very good. Minus 50% corruption. That's good, though. Uh, oh, he's got minus one governance. So that's <laughs> kind of contradictory again. He's proud. But the rest of the stuff's pretty good, so... Also, two bonuses to uh, market buildings, which, which we have two of, although one of them only gives money. Yeah, he's alright. Do I want food, or do I want something else? Um, this is down here. Let's, uh, let's get this one fine. Okay, so our income is horrible now. You're going to chase this army down. I hope it doesn't do too much damage. It can definitely take that, and then it's kind of maybe over here. But if it goes over there, then we can catch it in two turns, so that's okay. If it goes further down south, yeah, I mean, it's annoying, but the, the shit he takes, we can just take back right after him, so it's not the end of the world. And then this army should be able to stop this army, no problem. And we're also obviously coming down south. This one is going to... I don't know if it's going to go all the way south, or if I'm going to drop it off around here somewhere. We'll see what happens. This one is going to just keep going down south this way. And then this one was going to go over here. You don't need to replenish it all, so I'll just literally send you where I was going to send you. Uh, I am repairing everything, so don't tell me what to do. And you can move, but not very far, so there's no reason to do that. Actually, it is quicker from here, so let's go over here instead. I think the replenishment is probably the same. I don't think it matters at all. So we lost two, but we're going to gain more. 
Oh shit. This is all nice stuff. Nice. And a bazillion units recruited. The OCD-ness in myself makes me want to click all of them. Otherwise I have things that aren't clicked. That's disgusting. I can't deal with that. Alright. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I, I definitely have an army too many right now. I don't want this army. Okay, so they're going to take Coldingham. Yep, he took it. No real surprise there. Oh, he's went down, he went up to 18 units, and then he went down to 15. What the hell was that all about? Interesting. I hope my 20 units are going to be replenished enough to deal with the 15 units. I imagine that they're going to be way more replenished than I am, but... Independence War. Yeah, they're far more replenished than I am. And they've got some pretty strong units in there too, whereas my army is all trash. And I've got a whole bunch of archers, which obviously Never. don't really count for many units. Um, probably still going to go for it. Oh god, I'm worried about that though. If I let them replenish more though, they've got some really strong units in there. These guys are both pretty damn fucking good. Pretty damn fucking good. We gotta keep fucking taking everything before this army shows up and takes all my shit here, so... No real choice there. Occupy that. We lose shit, we take other shit from them, so... Alright, I think we're gonna land you here. Which unfortunately means I can't quite get there right now. I could actually land here and head this way. I don't know if that's worth it. Probably not. Do they have any large garrisons here? No and no. So yeah, you're still chasing this army. I don't know what their plan is now. But I think we're just gonna go this way, because if he goes this way, then we can turn around this way. If he goes down further that way, we can still do that as well. So for now, let's just head in this general direction. That's okay. Oh my god, we actually got a food shortage because of all the farms and shit we've been losing. That's pretty crazy. Hadn't expected that one. God, I wish I had this army up where I needed it right now. Move out. Our income is still trash. Alright, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to send you down this way. Oh, we can we can actually get there next turn because of the port. Good. There's no point waiting because he can attack me. And he would get an extra turn of replenishment, I think. This is our king, by the way. But I imagine it's their 25th king at this point. I, I suppose I could let them take it. I just go sit in here. I get another turn of replenishment. I'd technically get more replenishment than they do because... Um... Because I have more units, but I think my replenishment's Never. worse, because look at this shit, that's a massive fucking bar, whereas I got a tiny one because of my replenishment's fucked because of the food. So I think this is my best opportunity right now. Which is not good. Oh, it's in my favor, okay. Oh my god, they've got fucking catapults! Holy shit, I've not seen them yet, I don't know how good they are. I guess we'll fight this battle just because I want to see them. And also because it's not that much in my favor. Alright, ranged-wise, we definitely have an advantage this time. But only barely, to be honest, because these this is 96 men against this 76. It's not that much more. We have two of these full units. Our spearmen, we are, every one of our units is the lowest of the lowest, basically. And they, I think our spearmen, we beat them easily. This unit's very strong, that unit's very strong. But they've got a whole bunch of cavalry, which obviously we count with our spearmen. And then the dogs, I don't know, I, I didn't really see how, well, how good they were last time. And then there's the, the catapult, which I have no idea how good it is in this game, how accurate it is or anything like that. I guess I should be glad that they've got a lot of small units. Because otherwise I think this would be a lot more tough, or a lot tougher. Our generals are probably quite matched as well, so I don't really want to send general v general on this one. Actually, uh, our general's got a much better shield, but less armor, but more morale. Interesting. Well, let's see what happens. Fog. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take that for once. It's not something I generally do, but if their catapult doesn't have a shot for a while, then... That would probably be quite good. Let's have a look at what they look like. Yeah, looks like a catapult, alright. Their reduced number means they've only got... No, they've still got four. Never mind. That doesn't do shit. That's actually kind of worrying, because I don't know how good they are at all. I'm going to have to use every one of my units in the line, despite being incredibly 
wounded. Spearman. Maybe I'll just make a line and I have these two guys be separate. Maybe this is my... Maybe the weak units are my line. Fuck that rock being in the way right there. That's so annoying. Uh, do I use this as flanking units? I don't think that's a good idea. But maybe it is, because they've got a lot of cavalry. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's use them as flanking units. Well, not really flanking units, but... Because if I do... <laughs> this, this as a line is so shit. Uh, I also wonder if I could you I could try and um, our our cavalry is basically useless in this fight by the way unless we can bog down their units in melee their cavalry units but yeah perhaps we can use a, a cavalry unit to uh, have their catapult waste all of its ammo on also their generals on the flank that's good to know all right it looks like they're moving towards me but I imagine that's not gonna be very far. Okay. I don't know if they keep losing vision on me or something, but yeah, they're not going to move any further. I am going to run one of my cav units up here. See if I can make the uh, catapult waste its ammo. Where is the range on that, by the way? Right there, okay. So it's not actually in range yet, anyway. I want to see if this is a thing or not. I know it was in previous Total War games. Yep, it's firing. Should be pretty easy to dodge those. Are we? Alright. Okay, I think we'll, uh, we'll basically move up our entire army while dodging the shots of that unit. That worked out just about good. Oh shit. I don't think that actually killed anyone. Must have just missed, but certainly should be careful of it. We have the uh, under fire icon, so. Oh shit, we're about to run in their archer range, so we gotta be careful here. Yeah, that's. Oh, that's arrow shots. Oh, there's the catapults. Wait, what the fuck? It's firing at my general now. Yep, it legitimately is. It's not. It, it just doesn't care about this unit anymore. Oh shit! Archer's coming this way. I could try and take them out like that. Uh, army, everyone, run! Oh, they're going back. Never mind. I'm gonna have to move my entire army far closer than I had anticipated. Just gonna basically have to get into melee immediately. But, uh, you guys can walk for a second. This, I don't like the way this fucking force is right now. It's all over the goddamn place. Um, all of you. Okay, I want you in there. I want you in there too. Uh, send you this way. Okay, this is a bit of a fucking shambles, but... General needs to be used as well. These guys certainly need to be used. Get in there. You guys, help out over there. These are all ranged casts. I think I'm just gonna have to ignore them. Oh my god, my fucking... My middle has broken already. I undercommitted on the middle, like, by far. Okay, you're gonna have to... No, that doesn't work. Oh, that works. Holy shit, we killed our general. That was lucky as fuck. He just sent his men in there. I mean, I may have won us the battle just on luck based alone. Our general is not doing too well either, though, in fairness. Let's get in there. We're definitely... Oh, that's not my units. I think we got very lucky on that general dying there. Very lucky. And they oh, they are in the field, so even if we win this, they're not going to all die. I need some fucking spearmen to deal with these units. I'm surprised we haven't actually won yet. 
Good. Back in there, men. Uh, need to kill more shit off. Can't let them all re like we can't let them all get away. Okay, we won. All right. Well, that was incredibly lucky. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying I wouldn't have won it if I didn't get lucky, but that definitely helped quite a bit. Uh, general. Actually, ended up losing quite a few men in the end. Let's have some of my cavalry actually kill units so we can uh, have a bit of an easier second fight. That's all cavalry that's got, getting away here, unfortunately. That unit's dead already. Not really worried about that, to be honest. That unit's going to survive if we don't kill it off more. That one as well. I should be able to get a nice good old charge in there. Kill a whole bunch more of them, please. Oh, I got away in the end, I think. Eh, I think we killed about as much as we could have. Still a decisive victory. We lost 322 to their 1,000. But I think their general dying that early on in the fight <laughs> basically granted us the victory. Also, a uh, nice to note. F uh, actually, no, sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. For some reason, I was looking at the zero. They got zero kills, but that's not true. 43 kills on the uh, catapult. Not terrible. The, the, the dog, seven and one. Uh, I mean, it's not really definitive, but it... They don't look particularly good. Let's just keep it at that. All right, they died except for some calf. We're gonna get 11% replenishment, which is better than what we would have replenished normally, I think. This makes me real. Uh, this this is really good. Killing them all off here is gonna save us a whole heap of trouble. It's good defensive. Four men lost. Two percent replenishment. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Can we? No, we can't quite take this, unfortunately. But. Go I level up, and I'm certainly gonna go for Forager now. We need to get more replenishment because our food's actually fucked. I was on 300 a couple turns ago. I recruited a, like a full army, and I go, oh, lost a few towns and gone in this. Gonorrhea. I might want to recruit a, uh, a general here just to take these towns back while this army chases them down. This is still kind of. Actually, no, I'm not worried about this fight. This arm. I don't know how good this one is, but this army's insane. Well, no, these eight units are insane. That's kind of it, but that's the main infantry line, which is the most important of all. Do I recruit a general to take all the shit back more easily? Yeah, I think I will. Let's go even lower on food. Our 76-year-old now. Uh, is it easier to, t to recruit him there? Yeah, that's probably the best. Yeah, I think so. All right. Next, no, we can't quite get there next turn. In that case, just sitting here, I think. Yeah, here's look at the replenishment. Not that I really care about that. Alright. Wait. Oh, fucking hell. I looked at the. I, was, I thought, like, demolition complete farm. Demolition complete. Because I saw these demolitions. I was like. What the fuck? Why did I demolish a bunch of buildings? It's like, oh right, those ones were supposed to be demolished, but the farm was constructed. Good. Speaking of, that means I should uh, build some buildings here. Uh, we have no furs here, but we definitely have a lot of farm stuff, so water mill is great here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty damn good. And the, this one is probably worth it too. This place is incredibly unhappy. It will, it will eventually get happy, I think. Do we want church? No. Do we want this? No. We got rid of that. In fact, we don't want that. We do want that. So do we want this? No. Do we want this? No. Definitely not the blacksmith. Not really want this. Don't want that. And no, we can't get that. So yeah, I think this is the, f the best building to get here. All right. So next turn, we take that shit. Uh, you're going to take this next turn. This army might actually end up going here instead. Although it does need to replenish still, so maybe not. Um, yeah, you'll just... Okay, you'll just take this and then probably head down south to try and help out. We can actually take these back with him. Hadn't really considered that. Once you take this ship. But, eh, whatever. Uh, let's end the turn and see what they do. This army isn't going to take anything right now, but it could very well besiege Bebenbur. But if it does so, then at least it's going to get stuck for a turn. No, it's going towards Melros. We should be able to stop it from doing that. Okay, they've given up on trying to take all those towns, because I guess I'm going too fast for them. But yeah, they could attack me in the northwest, which is where we have a full stack, luckily. My deeds increase my renown. Damaged buildings. A little unfortunate. 
but oh well. So yeah, they haven't actually gotten anywhere, so I could run to Milros, and then either they attack it or they don't, it doesn't really matter, we should be able to deal with them. Also got a level up on this guy as well, so that's nice. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Well, I'm wondering if that's a level 2. Likes fish. <laughs> Came from the port building chain. Nice. Some pieces were negotiated. Right. Um, oh, we can actually attack this from C because of this. Nice. So we can take that, we can take this, we can take this, we can take that. So we can take four different regions. And then we can hopefully stop this army from rampaging through my lands too much. Glory. Uh, also, I didn't realize moving it here, I didn't actually get any of replenishment. That was kind of silly. Although I think I still would have done it anyway to make sure I could have moved. It, I moved as far as possible. They are moving, making a new army here. This guy could take Dundern, Dern. So maybe I'll take this army back this way so I can stop them from doing that. Might be what I'll do instead. Either way, it'll be next time. So until then, oh my god, my income. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.